Thursday, the 8th of December 2022. First reading. Reading from the book of Genesis. After Adam had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to him, Where are you? He asked. I heard the sound of you in the garden. He replied, I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. Who told you that you were naked? He asked, Have you been eating of the tree I forbade you to eat? The man replied, It was the woman you put with me. She gave me the fruit, and I ate it. Then the Lord God asked the woman, What is this you have done? The woman replied, The serpent tempted me, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, be accursed beyond all cattle, all wild beasts, you shall crawl on your belly, and eat dust, every day of your life. I will make you enemies of each other, ye and the woman, your offspring and her offspring. It will crush your head, and you will strike its heel. The man named his wife, Eve, because she was the mother of all those who live. Responsorial Psalm Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, ring out the joy. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. Second reading. Reading from the book of Ephesians. Blessed be God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all the spiritual blessings of heaven in Christ. Before the world was made, he chose us, chose us in Christ, to be holy and spotless, and to live through love in his presence, determining that we should become his adopted sons, through Jesus Christ, for his own kind purposes to make us praise the glory of his grace, his free gift to us and the beloved, and it is in him that we were claimed as God's own, chosen from the beginning, under the predetermined plan of the one who guides all things, as he decides by his own will, chosen to be, for his greater glory, the people who would put their hopes in Christ before he came. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women. Alleluia. Gospel. Reading from the book of Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, so highly favoured, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words, and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid, you have won God's favour. Listen, you are to conceive, and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. He will be great, and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, the how can this come about? Since I am a virgin, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. The angel answered, And the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. And so the child will be holy, and will be called Son of God. Know this too, your kinswoman Elizabeth has, in her old age, herself conceived a son. And she whom people called barren is now in her sixth month. For nothing is impossible to God. I am the handmaid of the Lord said Mary, let what you have said be done to me, and the angel left her. Gospel of the Lord